authentic. Who are you? I'm authentic, real name, no gimmicks. What up, people? It's Authentic Bennett, and I'm back with another video, man. Back with another video. Uh, right now, we on a road trip, you know. First road trip since I had the car. And it's almost been a whole year. <laughs> to tell you how busy I've been, you know, at home, busy with the dogs, busy with work, busy with everything. So, uh, almost a year in, first road trip, but we will get another road trip in before this year is out matter of fact at christmas time so we got something special planned for y'all and we're gonna see how it go you know people always ask me um what happened on road trips like how do you uh charge damn it just kicked me out of autopilot <laughs> but uh damn i messed up for real um people always ask me where you charge how you go about charging um, how long the battery lasts and stuff like that so uh, I thought I'd make this video because I'm just shooting down to Texas real quick and um, which is like a good 300 and some miles if that and um, this car is rated for 400 miles supposedly but it's telling me to stop in Beaumont for a five minute charge and then shoot straight to Houston and I should be there but I will be doubling that charge time just to be safe. I like to play it safe. So um, we will be charging for 10 minutes once we get to Beaumont, Texas. And then we'll go from there. Uh, this is the new microphone. Y'all let me know how y'all like it. You, know, um, you can clip it on your shirt. Or you can use the little magnet to uh, have it pinned to your shirt. Something like that. But... You know, especially when I'm in autopilot, I'd rather just roll with it like this and do my thing. But if I'm doing a video testing the car or something like that, I'll have it pinned to my shirt while I'm, while I'm, uh, you know, working the wheel. But, like I said, we got two hours and 30 minutes before we get to Beaumont, Texas. So, um, my battery percentage right now is on 83 I started at 100 all the way from home. I'm nowhere near Texas right now, but it's saying that I will arrive with only 12% battery, man. 12%. 12, that's it. You know, a lot of people would be nervous as hell, but this car got, it got a bit more range than the Model 3 that I had before. Um, in the Model 3, I used to have to stop either in Lafayette or Lake Charles. I had to stop there because there was no supercharger in Beaumont, Texas. There was no supercharger from Lake Charles all the way to Houston, Texas. So that had to be a stop. There's even one in between at uh, Bucky's now, you know, so I could stop for a little while at Beaumont or I could possibly make it all the way to Bucky's. But like I said, there's no sense in pushing it. And this is not gas to where somebody could just, you know, bring you a can of gas you know i really don't know how that situation would look but uh we never gonna be put in that situation because i'm stopping the charge up no matter what how this car work uh with charging you don't have to swipe the card you don't have to get out and go pay it knows it's your car like once you plug in the charger it knows it's your car you already have your car your card on file you know and it automatically charge your car it's just simple and easy you get out and plug up your car talks to the charger the charger talks to the car that's just how it works it's just seamless like that right now we got a model x in front of us that thing nice man snow white that model x is good for traveling too and it's a bit more range so uh we definitely got to get into that this definitely is a good travel car i would say it is a little bit, uh, it's, it's probably not as comfortable as something like a Y or an X, 
or even a cyber truck whenever the hell they come out because you sitting real low this is like a sporty type feel like cooped up type ride and it's good for ins and out you know through the traffic through city but when it comes for long, to long distance uh, I wouldn't want to be sitting so low to the ground but like I said we will have another trip to where we going to Atlanta all the way to Atlanta then from Atlanta to Tennessee and then from Tennessee back to Louisiana so um, that's gonna be a whole nother video that's about a month and a half away so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that but I'm about to go ahead and stay focused keep my eye on this road but I pick y'all up when I pick y'all up man let's go alright y'all we finally about to pull up we like three minutes away at a red light right now and who people talk about you know having a stop at the charges and all that but like to keep it real with you i'm ready to get out the car man i'm ready to get out the car and stretch my legs so it's not a big deal for me having a stop and um they telling me right now they recommending a a 10 minute charge but i'm gonna go ahead and stay about 15 20 minutes stretch my legs uh go use the bathroom all that and uh we're gonna get back on the road but uh i'm gonna let y'all check out the supercharger this is my first time coming to this one all the times i've been to texas the only options was lafayette and lake charles superchargers they didn't have one in beaumont this one is new this one is at least less than a year you know so we're about to pull up right now we're gonna get some good footage let's go Some nice rounds on that thing, man. Out of three. Just pulling up. Only got one Tesla in sight. And I'm out of wide right reverse. Ah, man. Put my shoes on because I drive barefoot. As you can see, this lady right here, she pulled up, left a gap in between us, as well as the one right here got a gap in between, because if you park right next to each other, if you park right next to each other, you end up, you end up sharing, oh, I gotta come all the way back, god damn, damn short. All right, let's try this again. Boom, hit the button, plug it in just like that, and she going. Simple as that, she is charging up. So, we come in here and look. As you can see, uh, oh yeah, now. Nah. I ain't used to looking at this, but this is my first time traveling with this car in particular. But it's telling me to charge at least nine minutes to continue my trip. As you can see, I got 34 miles. And look, play while you wait. <laughs> Bros, you're all day again. I already know you had a supercharger. So it's telling you you can explore games, you know, play different games while you charge. Stuff like that, you know. But. I'm about to go find somewhere to where I can stretch my legs, maybe. I see a little ice cream shop over there. Uh, different stuff all around here. But I might get a subway. But this is my first time coming to this supercharged station in particular. Uh, it's brand new, like everything looks brand new out here. And the charger is super fast too. Real, real fast. It's getting up there quick. Yep, I'm charging at like close to 250 kilowatts. It's going real, real fast. So, um, like I said, I'm about to get in here, go to Subway, get a drink, uh, use the restroom, and then we're gonna be on our way, man. Let's go. Hey, y'all, uh, look at the wrap on this Tesla Model Y right here. That's a different looking wrap. Man, crazy. It's like a gold aluminum fall. <laughs> it's crazy. Let's eat though. 
Bruh. <laughs> Look at that rat right there, boy. That gold hit on. That gold hit different, man. Yes, indeed. All right, y'all. So, mm. making it back, feeling refreshed. You know, walked a good while while the car was charging. But right now, it's time to leave. Go ahead and put that back up there. Let's get it, man. All right, so hopping back in. And as you can see, we all the way back up there, man. All the way back up there, got 251 miles of range. We all good. We all good, ready to go. I was gonna get some Subway, but I just ate some of these zaps I had in the car already. And got my water, fill that thing up to the roof, man. One gallon a day. Fill that water, bro. Some good H2O. I noticed that one of my tires is a little flat. I ain't gonna say flat, but it's a little low. We working with 28 PSI, so I'm gonna have to stop, find somewhere where I can get some some air in the tire, but man, this car, I don't know if it's just in my head or if it's been so long since I had my Model 3, but I swear, this car charged a whole lot faster than the Model 3, a whole lot faster, but I mean, that, that low tire is only at 28. So I'm thinking I might stop at Bucky's or I might just keep on pushing. But I am up 251 miles and I got an hour and, man, really only an hour and 20 minutes before I touch down. So I'm thinking I'll just, I'll just go. I'm thinking I'll just go, man. But it's not inconvenient at all. As you can see, driving a Tesla, go ahead and put my seatbelt on. It's not inconvenient at all, man. At all, at all. Um, stop there, plug up. It automatically know your car number. It automatically know it's your car. Get back in, man. Like, that was pretty much zero wait time at all. You don't stop and get bored. Like, I had zero time to play games or watch a movie on the phone. But if I wanted to, I could. You know, uh, just in that small amount of time, I went from only having, I think it was 30 miles left or something like that. Y'all can run the video back. I said it when I pulled up. But I went from having that small amount, like 10% battery, to 250 miles of range in that small amount of time. And I only really had time to uh, go in there, use the restroom, come back. And I probably sat here for like maybe five minutes. But other than that, it was ready to roll. I could have just stayed and charged for only five minutes. And that would have that would have helped me make it there. That's how quick that charge is. And that that's not even the fastest charger around. So I think that technology within itself is just crazy, crazy amazing, bro. And it's only gonna get better. It's only gonna be able to hold even more of a charge for even more range. It's only going to uh, be able to charge even faster than, than it was before. But uh, we passing up the Ford Arena right now. We actually had a Comic-Con at the Ford Arena uh, maybe two years ago, something like that. And Beaumont, which is crazy because we had zero superchargers when we came down here. And I remember the hotel that we stayed at didn't have chargers, so I had to go across the interstate to charge and the charger was so slow so i ended up having to let that sit over there overnight while i went back to the hotel it was inconvenient bro but like i said you know the more we go the more people understand the more superchargers they build it makes this more uh it makes more sense to have a car like this but if you were spending gas oh man that used to be the bulk of the trip when I was paying for gas, but let's see how much 
that charge was. All right, that last charge station was, if we can zoom in, that look, that last charge station was $20.52. That's how much it took to charge. Now that was pretty much from E. If you think of it like a gas car, that was pretty much from E if you think of it like a gas car. And it filled all the way to about 75%. Looked like around 75%. Uh, but $20.52, man. <laughs> That's it. And we still only got an hour and 20 minutes until we there. So I still have crazy, crazy range. You know, um, to where I won't even have to charge up for the rest of the week if I wanted to. But like I said, I don't like to cut it close. So I probably will be uh, charging up for the week tomorrow, which I only take about 20 minutes, man. 20 minutes and that'll, that'll get me right for the whole week. So we're gonna see, it's gonna be experience, man. Let's go. I decided to stop at the Bucky's and come to find out, I forgot about this, but they actually got superchargers at the Bucky's, man. So. I'm only at like 50%, but I still decided to go ahead and give up some more charge while I'm in here since I'm be in here anyway. Might as well charge while I'm, you know, shopping around and getting some, some good to eat. So, man, I think that's real cool. It's so convenient. Man, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. I, I don't even have to stop once I make it to Houston now. You know, I know that quick charge right there, probably gonna take me all the way to 100. And I won't need to charge up no more this week. No more this week, that is crazy, right? But we extra good, man, if you think about getting you a Tesla, what are you waiting on? What exactly are you waiting on? Look, let's go wrap this video up, man. I'll see y'all next time. I'm about to go to Bucky's and see what we see. Let's go.